Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla TV, here to talk to you today about Kiriakin license plate holders for Harley. You should be looking into a Kiriakin tag bracket for your bike if you're looking for a good looking one stop shop solution for mounting your license plate on your motorcycle to keep the man happy. Now these things are currently being made for sort of 55 to 96 Harleys, but also a bunch of other stuff too. These can be put on just about any Harley with a little bit of custom fab work. I think that's kind of part and parcel when you move into the custom license plate holder game. Installation on these shouldn't be too bad for most of you. You're looking at about two beards, give or take, on average for most of these. Now again, on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty, two beards kind of like the intermediate project. Maybe not the best beginner project, but also probably something that's not going to be as terrible as, you know, swapping an engine or perhaps a transmission or something to that effect. If any of you get in trouble though, again, give me a holler, uh, either in the comments section down below or in common tread on our comments section there. I'm always looking out for you guys trying to make installation easy. Let's get right into the actual tag brackets themselves. Kiriakin is a pretty well respected name in the Harley game. I'm sure most of you, if you don't own Kiriakin parts, you've at least seen them or heard of them. Um, there's a reason that they have such a wide cult following because they make some pretty good stuff. So we're discussing their tag brackets today. As you can see, they really do have uh, sort of a wide assortment of stuff. And what you're, what you're seeing here is actually only a smattering of what they offer. It's really just the amount of stuff that we could fit on the table in front of me. Check out the site for more options. If you see something up here, it's maybe not quite to your liking. So let's start with the easy stuff first. You can see here we have their basic tag bracket. This thing is about as uh, about as basic as it gets. It is curved, you can see there. So it's going to give you that cool custom bike look. You can see here there is some ball milling in this puppy. It's uh, it's, it's muted, but it definitely does look different than stock. I think most people are going to see this and recognize something's different, but doesn't necessarily jump right out at you. Now, Kiriakin also sweats some of the small stuff here. You'll notice countersunk hardware. This is provided with the license plate bracket. I really like that. It gives a nice, clean, finished look. Nothing worse than, uh, you know, some ugly, clunky hardware hanging out, spoiling the look of your bike. One of the other things I like too is the uh, the backing plate itself is actually drilled and tapped to accept that quarter 20 hardware that they supply you for. So it's one less piece of hardware for you to actually lose. Gives a nice clean sanitary look to your plate bracket. You can see here we have the exact same bracket over here in Chrome. You do have a couple finish options typically with Kiriakin on most of these items. Just about everything's going to be offered in both black and Chrome. Again, take a peek at the individual product pages. You can see which items come with which options. So kind of moving over and moving up in their product range, you can see here we have another license plate bracket, but this one is lit. This is a nice solution for those of you who need to handle lighting duties as well as mount duties. So these are going to be great for those of you on a stock bike with a layback license plate mount and you already have an existing tail light that's going to be shining light up there. Those of you who are kind of trying to rework the tail end of your bike or perhaps you're building something ground up, you may need to figure out a way to light up your license plate. You can see here this thing has some white LEDs built right into it. Great for conspicuity, great for keeping Johnny Law off your tail. If your tail light is, or rather your uh, tag bracket light is lit up nice and bright, you're not going to draw the attention of police. It's one more biker going down the road who's not going to get pulled over and get a ticket. One of the other things I like about this particular puppy, the backing plate does not have uh, the tapped threaded holes some of the other ones do, but you'll notice too that there are acorn nuts on here. Kiriakin provides that for you. So if somebody's addressing your bike from the front, looking at the rear of it, you still are going to present a nice finished look to your motor cycle. So moving even, even further up their product line, you can see here we have a tag bracket with integrated stop turn tail light. Now I'm actually showing this to you sort of incorrectly. This is actually a vert mount setup. Uh, so this is super cool for a couple reasons. Firstly, it can be mounted actually in either, either direction. You could go tail light up, tail light down. As I said, this is integrated. This has really all the wiring the rear of your bike should need all in one shot. The only thing this doesn't include is turn signals, and a lot of you are going to be in states where you're not necessarily uh, required to run them. This is going to be a very simple, clean solution for those of you who want that super custom, super billet look. Again, you'll notice the ball milling in there. You can see that countersunk hardware. This is just a very clean setup. LEDs throughout on this puppy too. So again, you're not really going to be doing anything in terms of bulb changes on this particular piece, uh, really for the life of the motorcycle. I will give you guys one word of caution. Those of you looking to run this thing, keep in mind, a lot of states do not allow vert mount plates and some have special rules for those who are running a vert mount plate. Just keep it in mind when you're zipping down the road. Again, if you're trying to keep Johnny Law off your tail, this may or may not be for some of you. 
The final piece there, again, is the mounting issue. So we had talked about the installation, and they also offer these cool little brackets. I really like these. So these are meant to clip to your uh, frame tubing. Those of you, especially with soft tail style motorcycles, this is going to be sized correctly for this to attach to your, uh, to your rear swing arm triangle, really anywhere on there, lower rail, uh, upper rail, either or. You should be able to sort it out and find something that's going to look nice. The magic here is in this serrated bolt here. You'll notice this thing actually mates up very nicely with some of the mounts actually on the plates. Um, what that allows you to do is sort of clock this thing at different angles to give both the best conspicuity as well as um, the best visibility of both the plate and the lighting on there. So realistically speaking, if you're reasonably creative and you wind up with some of their mounting hardware, you should be able to get one of these on your bike and have it really looking very, very slick. Of course, those of you who are looking at some of the more basic plates too, you're gonna see just your standard three bolt mount. Pretty sure you're going to see that on most Harleys 55 to 96, but again, there's so much aftermarket stuff out there, you may find that on earlier and later bikes. That's going to be really sort of a straight bolt in, uh, put it on and go sort of a deal as far as the actual mechanical physical installation. As I'd mentioned, for most of you guys, it's going to be about a two beater. The actual bolting up of these pieces to your motorcycle shouldn't be too difficult, assuming you have the correct hardware and tools to do so. Where it gets just a little bit sketchy is again, you might wind up clipping some plugs or perhaps having to rewire the tail end of your bike. Wire a light is not terribly difficult, but as I said, if any of you get stuck, leave me some comments either here on YouTube or again in our common tread, uh, you know, in one of our articles there. I monitor those things very carefully. Um, so if you do get stuck, give me a holler. I want to get you guys on the road. If anybody needs help, that's what we are here for. Now, all in all, these are maybe not my cup of tea. These are a little bit louder than I like for my bike. But again, I'm not the only game in town. I've got opinions, you've got opinions. Click below, check out some of your fellow riders' opinions. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat out there. And again, Kiryakin's making a good, solid product here. Just because you won't find one necessarily on one of my old claptrap machines doesn't mean it's not a great taillight tag bracket setup for one of you. If you have a question that I didn't get to, get in touch with one of our gear geeks, cs at rozilla.com. You can always give us a jingle on the telling bone, 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.